Hello, hello. Hello. Hi, Domingo. Hi, teacher. Welcome, welcome. It's a pleasure to see you again, Domingo. Okay. Yeah. Were you okay yesterday? I, I, uh, I am uh, good. I, regular. Regular, I imagine, right? You're a little bit tired. Yeah, I understand. Yes. But don't worry, we're going to put some energy in this class, right? Please, let's do it. Okay. Mariano, welcome, Mariano. Hi, teacher. Hi. Welcome to the class. Aminda, hello, welcome back. Hello. Hello, Aminda. Nice to see you again, right? Yesterday you uh, had some thank problem, you. right? Yes, it was impossible. It was impossible to join the I class. Understand. I understand. But you're here. That's important, right? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. And now I see some today some students have problems with the connection. Give me, um, I will send a message to Leslie because she has some problems with the connection. Okay, good. So let's start right now, right? Uh, I'm gonna make a little review, a little review of uh, the exercises we, we were making yesterday. So I will share the, the manual, right? The manual. Okay, yesterday we were learning the product life cycle, unit one, and the use of would rather, right? To express preference, to express preference. Okay, now, would rather plus base form of, of the verb, or contraction plus the base form of the verb, right? This was the class of yesterday. Um, well, but before to start the class, I have a question. Um, eh, Aminda, I have a question in Spanish. Sorry, sorry to, to ask you. Es que algunos alumnos me están preguntando en el, en el grupo eh, dónde está el link para conectarse. Eh, Aminda, en su caso, ¿verdad que está en su correo la conexión? Sí, sí está Así. en el correo. Y también, si no, con el ID de la, de la reunión y el password okay. pueden ingresar. Ok. Uh, permítame mandarle mensaje a, a tres compañeros que no pueden ingresar. Dime a seco. Ok. Sí, porque yo no tengo problem. mi propia conexión. Eh, puede chequear el ID. Ok. Ah, el ID y el password. Ah, ahí, ahí se lo acaban de mandar. Rosemary le mandó a, a Leslie. Bueno, espero que se pueda conectar. Si no, espero que algún compañero del el grupo técnico, espero que le ayude a, a Leslie, porque no se puede conectar. Bueno, uh, vamos a seguir nosotros, please. Eh, let's continue. So, uh, yesterday we were learning about this, right? This exercise. And we made it together. We made it together, right? Sorry. Okay, my camera. Okay, good. Um, Carlos, welcome. Ever, welcome to the class. Welcome, welcome. 
We're making a good evening. We're making a little review, right? A little review of the class yesterday because uh, some of you have some problems with the platform, right? We're going to problemitas en la plataforma. Entonces, we're going to make a review. We're going to make a review, but let me see. Okay. Ya casi se conecta Leisley. Por, ella me preguntó sobre, sobre esto. Permítame. Here, teacher. Oh, okay, Leisley. Uh. <laughs> okay. Give me a... Okay. Uh, now we're going to review the exercise we did yesterday, right? Okay. Let's start with this. Give me a second. Number one, order the words to create sentences and then compare with your answer with a partner, right? We did yesterday. We did this yesterday. So we're going to make it slowly because this exercise is similar to the one in the platform, right? So let's start with number one. Uh, Mariano, can you help me with number one? Okay, teacher. Uh, the manager will rate the creative team, rate us the creative team to design a relaunch of the product. Very good. Now, class, copy again, please. Copy again, because yesterday we did it. But I want to check word by word, right? Today, we're going to check word by word. I will repeat what Mariano says. Copy, please. The manager would rather ask the creative team to design a relaunch of the product. The manager would rather ask the creative team to design a relaunch of the product. That's number one, right? I repeat, we saw this yesterday, but we're going to go word by word. Did you copy? Okay, good. Now let's go to number two. Ever, please, can you help me with number two? Yeah, sir. Okay, number two, many distributors would rather not sell our product at a lower price. Good, thank you very much. And there is a little mistake here, and I also commit the mistake, sorry for that. But the only change in this sentence is instead of saying rather much, we're going to change to much rather. Okay, again, because the book, the manual says, would rather much, okay? So we're going to change, or instead of say rather much, we're going to say much rather. I will read, Leslie, uh, give me a second. I'm gonna read and then I will, I will listen to you, okay? Many distributors, Many distributors would much, would much rather sell or product at a lower price, like ever said, right? <clears throat> okay. Many distributors would much rather sell our product at a lower price. Ah, uh -huh, Leslie, Leslie, please. Um, that, uh, that sentence is, mm -hmm. uh, the system told me uh, it was incorrect, but with this change, uh, told me it's good. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> Thank you, Leslie. 
Thank you very much. Okay, let's continue with number three. Leslie, help me with number three, please. Okay, uh, number three. Uh, they would rather withdraw the product than introduce it in a new market. Okay, in a new market or in new markets, Leslie? Um, in new markets, In sorry. new markets, correct, in new markets. Thank you, thank you. Now everybody please copy, copy. They would rather withdraw the product than introduce it in new markets than introduce it in new markets okay good now Carl, carlos so um, well uh, carlos is not there give me a second um davy please davy sorry <laughs> sorry today i always have problems sorry 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 davy Debbie, number four, please. Um, uh, many companies mm -hmm. will, will operate. Okay, okay but, but remember we have to use would rather, Debbie. Yes, see, sí, yes. Okay. Many companies would rather operate uh, uh, one as a as a premium uh -huh. option. as a premium option uh -huh. once the product okay okay many companies would rather operate has a premium option once the product is in the decline stage. Good, the decline stage, correct. Yesterday uh, we did it, but I committed another mistake because I forgot to tell you is, right? Good, yeah. I will read. And Leslie, I will give you the, the word for you, but just let me read this, right? Okay, it says, again, what David said, listen, many companies, would rather operate as a premium option once the product is in the decline stage, right? That is the correct one. Leslie, please. I have the sentences uh, as you told right now, but the system told me is wrong. It's wrong, okay. Let's go word by word. And please, Leslie, copy. Copy word by word because I check in the system and the system told me it's okay, right? So maybe, okay. I don't know, maybe the period at the end, Leslie, punto yes. final, maybe. Yes. But no, let's check. I put it. Okay, come on. Many companies would rather operate as a premium option once the product is in the decline stage. Okay, so we have to check word by word and also the spelling, for example, a, I don't know, option, stage, premium with M, you know, premium is P, R E M I U M, right? M M. Because in my program, uh, the program say it's okay, Javier, it's okay. Lastly, maybe you can check later. And after the class, you tell me, Lastly. Okay, teacher. Okay, please. Uh, Oscar, I received your message. That's okay, Oscar. I understand. Thank you. Okay, good. 
And let's go to the last one. Remember, I tried this because, you know, these sentences are really long. So we have to check word by word. Even yesterday, I commit two mistakes, right? But we are correcting now because I want you to have a 10 in the, in the, in the platform, in the platform, sorry. Okay, let's go to number five. Um, let me see. Carla Vanessa, can you help me with number five? Okay. Uh, many more companies would rather become the last cost provider of a product of our price bar with great function. Okay, good. It's excellent, but uh, what I have here is a change in order. I will read for you. Thank you, Vanessa. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you much. Many more companies would rather become the low case provider of a product with a great caution about world prices. Many more companies would rather become the low cost. Remember, low cost has an iPhone, right? Ungyung, a hyphen. So low cost provider of a product with a great caution about world prices. Okay, class, I will check again because uh, and number four, especially because uh, Laisley says that uh, maybe the platform is giving Here, a negative. Uh, huh? In these sentences, the platform say uh, with great, and you say with a great. Ah, so maybe that when, is a mistake. Okay. And let me check, let me check, I, give me a second. Okay. Because in the book, I mean, in the manual, it says with great. Yes. Okay, so thank you very much. You see? <laughs> thank you, thank you. So that is the mistake number three for me. Okay, it's the same idea, but the problem is that uh, we, we have to make it um, exactly like the platform said, right? Sure, but the system the system accept the sentences with a great mm. and and the option at the system say with gray like the book and the class have to write a great with a great okay mm -hmm. i understand you see these tricks i don't know in the platform you know mm -hmm. So I would repeat, listen, I would repeat. Uh, Van Vanessa, you say that, right, Vanessa? Yes? Okay, now, the answer could be with, with grade or with a grade. The, the two ideas are correct, but according to uh, what Vanessa discovered is that you have to copy a grade. We're going to do something, right? We're going to do something. I will do it in in uh, in a board, right? Okay, and I need the help of of you, right, class, to go by sentence by sentence, right? Okay, let's start with number one, right? The manager would rather I'm gonna make it bigger. Yes, like this. Oh, come on, what happened?
Okay, the manager Oh, my goodness. Yes. Here. Here. Okay. The manager would rather ask the creative team to design a relaunch. of the product. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. I need to learn how to use this. Okay. The manager would rather ask the creative team to design a relaunch of the product. Lately, help me please, Lately. Uh, when you were working in the platform, you got it correct this, Leslie? Yes. Yes, yes. okay. Number one, no problem, right? Number one, no problem. Let's continue with number two. Sure. Yes, tell Teacher. me. For me, is 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 the is the wrong, but I write the same, but I'm not sure what wrong all my my answers, but maybe, I, I wrote maybe the is the period at the Thank end. You. Maybe is the period at the end. Could uh, be, but but uh, I can modify it. You couldn't modify. No, but as far as I know, it's possible. If you got it wrong, you can modify it. Okay. I would try. Would you like to try at the end, please? After okay. the class. And if you mm -hmm. have problems, send me a message. Because this exercise is becoming okay. a headache for me. <laughs> because mm -hmm. you have to check word by word, right? Okay, but number one is okay. Yes. Number one is okay. So if someone has correct, everybody has to go and to the platform and, and get it correct, right? Now, number two, many... 36, right? Many, I don't know what happened. Okay. I cannot use the platform. Well, I, I will use the, the PowerPoint presentation class. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Okay, I will use the PowerPoint presentation for today. Mm -hmm. Here, yeah, right? Okay, so we'll copy here. In a second. Okay, here, right? Let's say number 40, right? Yes. Okay, number two. Here, right? Many distributors would rather Would much, sorry, would much rather sell or product at a lower price, right? Uh, with lower case letter price. Good. Many distributors would rather 
uh, sell our product, sorry, at a lower price. Okay, again, Leslie, can you help me? You got it right, right, in the platform. Leslie? Okay, but this is the correct one, right? And remember, it's not much wood, it's would much rather, right? Would much rather. Or is not rather much, it's much rather, okay? Number three. They would rather withdraw the product than they would rather uh, withdraw the product than introduce it in a new market, in new markets. Introduce it in new markets, right? Okay. Let's go to number four. In this number four, Leslie has some problems, right? But let me see if everybody has these problems. Would rather operate as a premium MM premium as a premium option once the product the product is in the decline stage, right? And number five, that is the last one. Many more companies would rather become low cost provider of a product with a great caution about war prices. Okay? So according to the book, as we said, right? You have to say great caution, but according to the platform, you have to say a great caution, right? Okay, good. I, I understand your message, Leslie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good. Now, these are the correct answers. We're going to do something, right? Please copy. If you want to make a, to capture the screen, right? Capture pantalla if you want. Uh, and if you have problems, send me a message, please. Okay? Everybody, if you have problems, send me a message to, to make the corrections, right? But sometimes it's a period, right? Algunas veces es un punto al final. Yes, tell me. Después de with lleva... Number? Uh, number five. Number five, okay, give me a second. With a great, uh -huh. a great caution. Okay. Okay, I will, este I repeat. Na... Listen, listen, I will repeat. In the book, in the book says with great, yes? But according to, I'm not, not very sure, right? Creo que Vanessa fue la que me dijo, ¿verdad, Vanessa? Eh, in the platform, in la plataforma, right? You have to copy a great. 
here a great. But in the manual, if you want to check, vamos a chequearlo juntos. In the manual. Okay, number five, say, look. Okay, I will say this, listen. Es que el libro tiene varios errores. Tiene varios mm -hmm. errores. Por ejemplo, aquí, cuando dice, would rather much, no es would rather much, es would much rather. ¿Sí? Este es el error. That's a mistake, right? Good. And the book says with great caution. El libro dice con with great caution. Así dice, great, great caution. Pero en la plataforma, ustedes van a poner with a great caution. Porque si no, no le va a aceptar la plataforma. ¿Ok? Maybe the person who was uh, typing the copy a great, right? Both ideas are correct. Ambas ideas son correctas. Usted puede decir with great caution or with a great caution. Ambas ideas son correctas. Pero en la plataforma, I repeat, in the platform, you are going to copy with a great caution, okay? Please, eh, mientras estamos en la clase, tal vez alguien lo puede intentar. Y me dice, por favor, porque esta uh, es por... number uh -huh. three, yes, uh, yes, yes, uh -huh. eh, pero eh, and another no. much, no, solo a uh, good rather. Okay, number three, uh -huh. no, that's correct, would rather, está bien, uh, okay. would okay. rather, sí. yes. Eh, eh, The problem is with number two. El problema, Domingo, es este, mire, en esta oración, mire. Dice, oh, okay. would rather much. Pero no es would rather much, es would much rather. Ok. Sí, sí. Y la plataforma le acepta would much rather. ¿Sí? O sea, aquí hay que ver <ríe> lo que dice el manual y lo que hay en la plataforma, ¿no? Entonces ahí entramos en en el dime que te diré, ¿no? So, sorry, sorry. But, eh, y el otro error está aquí, ve. Que en el libro, en el manual, dice with great caution. El número 5, number 5. Dice with great caution. Pero en el, la plataforma ustedes pongan with a great caution, ¿sí? Así como está aquí. Así como les puse yo aquí. ¿Ve? With a great caution. Ahí está. Ya. ¿Ok? Veamos si no me equivoco en otra palabrita, porque una palabrita puede dar mal en la plataforma. Many distributors would much rather sell our product at a lower price, correct? Ahí también le cambiamos word prices a... Como... En el manual dice prices war, price wars. Ah, hay otro error todavía, no, Dios mío, my goodness. <ríe> Va, revisemos el manual otra vez, sorry. Este manual me da lo, dolor de cabeza, sorry. <ríe> ok, We, about price war, ah, yes, about price war, dice aquí, ¿verdad? Y es about... War prices. Ok, está otro error entonces. Está otro error. Vamos otra vez a revisar. Entonces aquí no es price wars. Aquí sería war prices. Sí, por eso es que quiero que le hagan una captura de pantalla. Capture, please. Voy a copiar la 1 para que estén completitas. Permítame un segundito. Voy a copiar la 1 para que esté completita aquí. A ver si me lo permite. Vamos a ver. No, no me lo permite. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Ahí estamos. Aquí lo vamos a copiar. No me one. Y después lo voy a dejar que le den una captura completa. The manager... 
the manager team uh, would rather, sorry, the manager would rather ask the creative team to design to design a relaunch a relaunch of the product of the product okay good and then i will do something here vamos a hacer algo aquí vamos a hacerlo más pequeño para que nos quepan let me see um let's give it a, a 32 for example right por ahí si nos cabe yes Okay, class. Final. Okay. Here we have the sentence. Let's go one by one, right? Number one and number two, no problem, right? Con la uno y la dos no hay problema. Así, está, así a todos les ha salido bien en la plataforma. El problema es la tres. En la tres. Vamos a ver. La tres sería. Rather, a mí ya me no, la, la dos sería. Ajá, yo tengo buenas la 1, la 1, la 2 y la 3, las tengo buenas, pero ah. las 4 y las 5 me siguen saliendo malas y ya okay. las puse como usted las tiene. David, give me a second. Entonces, dame un segundo, David. Eh, okay. Entonces, así como están aquí, las ha puesto usted en la plataforma, David. La 1, 2 y 3. Yes. Ok, yes. entonces estamos bien. Eliminémosla, ya, ya estamos. Ahora vámonos a la 4 y la 5, ok. Many companies would rather operate as a premium option once the product is in the decline stage. Aquí debe haber algún error. Vamos a ver en el manual. No se le habrá olvidado algún punto ahí. Pues no, no, no aparece ningún punto. Vale, si no le pone más... punto al final, no, no, no acepta. Sale malo. Sale malo, ¿verdad? Pero sí. esta es la respuesta. Ok, y vamos a hacer una cosa, miren. A nosotros lo que nos interesa es la estructura, ¿sí? Lo que nos interesa es la estructura. Aquí es would rather plus the base form, right? Esto es lo que nos debe interesar. Sin embargo, hay unos detalles técnicos eh, en los cuales la plataforma no acepta. Debe haber una palabra... O debe haber oh, algún punto is... que, que, no, que no está correcto. Pero la oración está bien. Es decir, la oración no, no es un problema. Es un detalle técnico. Vaya, yo lo voy a revisar. Operate. Aquí. Operate. Operate. You are, you are using a tilde. No, 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 no. Es, es no. que la base que he usado se ve como que es tilde. Pero no, mire, mire. Ah, okay. Operate. ¿eh? Si no, es que el, la base que está ahí está mala. Bueno, ok. Okay. In number five, many more companies would rather become low cost provider of a product with a grade. Aquí está la diferencia, miren. Número uno, en la número cinco, en, en el libro dice with grade coach, pero en la plataforma le van a poner with a grade, ok? Y también aquí me enseñaron me dijeron que está mal esto, ¿verdad? En el libro dice, dice price wars, price wars, dice el libro, pero no está correcto. Lo correcto es war prices, ¿ok? Guerra de precios, war prices, ¿sí? ¿Ok? So, we're going to do something, right? Eh, I will check in the, in the, in the platform. Yo lo voy a chequear en la plataforma y eh, ¿cómo haríamos para mandárselo? Porque no puedo mandarle la respuesta, ¿verdad? De la plataforma. Si no, mi jefe me va a colgar. <ríe> um, vamos a hacer una cosa. Me voy a auxiliar con Debbie. Please, Debbie. Eh, lo voy a chequear y le voy a mandar eh, ¿dónde estuvo el error? 
Porque aquí hay un error entre okay. la 4 y la 5. Ajá. Hay una discrepancia de una palabrita, no sé cuál será. O un punto, no sé. Pero yo lo voy a investigar. Y cuando ya lo tenga, se lo voy a mandar a Debbie. Y usted comparte el error con los demás. Digo, la solución del error. <risa> ok. Good. But number one, two and three are correct, right? Pero con la uno, dos y tres ya estamos. Ok. Good. Now we'll pass the attendance. Vamos a pasar asistencia antes de que otra cosa pase. Ok. Eh, I have like three listeners, right? Entiendo que hay tres, tres alumnos que están con, eh, con problemas de internet. Solo me mandan el mensaje diciendo present, ok? Good. Eh, Trini? Present. Good. Aminda? Present. Ana María? Carlos? Present. Good, thank you. Claudia Guadalupe. Creo que Claudia Guadalupe está de listener. Me manda el mensaje. Ah, aquí está. Ok, good, thank you. Present, good. Domingo. Present. Ever. You hear me, sir? Ok, good. José Roberto. Carla. El Nasir. Present. Ok, thank you, Carla. Eh, Carla Vanessa. Present. Good. Laisley. También tiene problemas con internet. Ahí me manda el mensaje, Laisley. Leticia. Leticia Guadalupe. Present. Present, teacher. Ok, welcome. Mariano. Present teacher. Oscar. Oscar. Ah, Oscar está de, de también. Sí, ya, ya le tomé. Present. Very good. Thank you, Oscar. And Rosemary. Present. Good, thank you. Rosibel. Present. Yvette. Present. Good. Vanessa Noemi. Present teacher. Walter. Present oh, teacher. Good. Wendy. Wendy. Vicky. Miriam. Chamba. Present, Mr. Good. David. Present. Jorge Alfredo. Okay, good. That's it. Right now, let's, let's go to the class. Vamos a ir a la clase. Entonces, eh, uh, saludos a su baby, Yvette. Very good. He's learning English too. Nice. I like you. You take your children and, and share with us, right? Good. Now, let's go to the class. Today, we're going to go to another topic that is, oh, is kind of difficult, right? But uh, the only thing we have to do is to memorize, memorize what are the quantifiers, right? Good. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to English for Word program. Today is Tuesday, June 28th. And the topic is how to use quantifiers, right? Okay. And before to start with the class, we're going to discuss about this interesting topic. So, we're going to continue with the second part of the topic of yesterday, that is animals, right? Animals. So let's start with Walter, please. Can you help me, Walter? What natural animal ability or talent would you like to have, Walter? Um, this answer is, is easy for me. I always uh, dream fly. Like an eagle. <laughs> 
because a lot a lot they are running and and sometimes I feel flying. Okay, imagine you could fly, my goodness. That's a good ability, right? And listen, I would like to have the, the intelligence of the wolf. Oh, the wolf, you know? And the passion of the wolf to, to capture the, the prey, right? Para capturar las presas, so it's very intelligent. And what about you, Debbie? What ability or talent would you like to have? Hmm. I don't know, maybe fly or run. run. Run faster, like a cheetah. <laughs> like a cheetah, yes, the fastest animal, right? Oh, come on. Yes. <laughs> yes, especially if you're passing to a dangerous neighborhood, right, Debbie? <laughs> run. <Yes. laughs> okay, good. Next question, Yvette. What is the most useful, you know, útil, útil, right, useful animal in the world, in your opinion? Mm, I think is the, the cow. The cow. Mm -hmm. Good idea, right? Chamba? What do you think, Chamba? For you? I think the bee. How do you say abeja in English? The bee. Uh -huh, the bee. The bee. Yes. The bee. Also a, a very important animal, right? Because with no bees, the, the world couldn't exist. People say that if the bees disappear, human race will disappear too, right? Okay, now, uh, Domingo, what animal best represents your character? Your personality, the personality of Domingo. What animal best represents, uh, in your opinion, Domingo? The lion, the bull, the eagle. Do you understand the question, Domingo? What animal best represents your character? ¿Qué animal representa su character, su, su forma de ser, right, Domingo? Which animal? The bulls, the animal bush. The bull? bulls, toro? Ah, the bull, bull. the bull. Oh, the bull, the bull. The okay. bull, right. Ooh. Okay. okay, very good. Excellent. The bulls are it's, really it's... strong, right? Nice. Chamba, what about you? The wolf. The wolf, too. Yeah. Ooh, okay, very good. That's nice. Yes. Okay, Mariano. Do you think it is necessary to experiment on animals to test uh, cosmetics and drugs? I think yes, teacher, yes, because it's, it's, the most, it's the most similar to test on persons. Yeah. And for it is the first steps to 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 test uh, drugs on cosmetics. Okay. In my opinion, cosmetic is not too, not too necessary, right? But uh, drugs, I mean, medicine, medicine, yes, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Do you prefer a human person suffer or a rat? <laughs> is it difficult to say, <laughs> yes. right? Good. Yes, right. Aminda, uh, Ever, thank you very much. Thank you, Ever. Uh, Aminda. In your no. opinion, do you think it's necessary to experiment on animals? Depends, depends, uh, depends of the case because mm -hmm. it's to the objective. Find find a, any medicine or or vaccination. Some vaccination could be right. For example, a the last and maybe it's, it's necessary. necessary yeah for example the coronavirus they were trying to do it some, mm -hmm. they were trying with some animals right they were experimenting with some animals with the covid yeah but we don't know right 
Ok, eh, Debbie. I'm sorry. Here I am. Here I am. Sorry, my internet. Let me share again the presentation. Okay, we were talking to Debbie, right? Debbie, in your opinion, what animals have the best life? The best life? The bear. The, the birds. The birds? No. No, oh, the bear, the bear. Bear. The bear, yes. okay, awesome. good. Could be, you know, drink, uh, eating a lot of honey. <laughs> Maybe. And then sleep. Yeah, sleep and sleep. In my opinion, Debbie, my dog has <laughs> the best. <life. laughs> yeah, because my, my, how do you say, listen, how do you like say? Like a baby. Cuidan, cuidar, you say pamper. My wife pamper my dog too much. <laughs> like a baby, you know, <laughs> and I, I imagine some cats, sorry class, eh, estoy teniendo problemas con internet, me está bajando un poquito, si, si no me copian, le repito una vez, okay, so some cats also have the best life, yes. okay, and some animals in the zoos, I don't know if you remember the movie eh, Madagascar, right? In Madagascar, the lion, the giraffe, the hippopotamus, they, they, they had a very nice life, right? Okay, let's go to the next question. Let me see. Uh, Ever, should animals be kept in zoos? Yes or no, Ever? In my opinion, animals need in your habitat natural. In natural, no in zoos. Well, the national zoo is, is a, a cow, right? In El Salvador, right? So we don't recommend any animal to this zoo, even dogs, I don't recommend to be there, but- No in zoos. Other zoos, yeah. other zoos are like, you know, bigger. For example, I heard about uh, La Aurora in Guatemala, right? La Aurora in Guatemala? Yes, yes. Yeah. They say, I don't know the, the zoo, but they say it's a beautiful place. Who knows La Aurora in the, in the group? Who knows La Aurora? Me, teacher. Ah, okay. Me, teacher. <laughs> nice. So, thank you, Aminda. So I imagine, I imagine this is a beautiful place. I think it depends on what the condition where and, and how the animals lie. Okay, so ever say no, right? But, and you, uh, Omar, what do you think? Walter, Walter Omar, <laughs> what do you think? Yes, I, I, I say, uh, depends on the condition. Well, in this case, depends on the zoo, right, Walter? Yes, depends on the it depends on the zoo. zoo, yes, totally agree. Okay, because let's go to the next. Here in the Salvador is a bad list. No, 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 come on, let's have no. Please. Vicky, hello, Vicky. I see your camera, but I don't see you, Vicky. Hello, hello. Well, Vicky is not ready yet. Well, let's wait for her. Now, Aminda, what are the biggest differences between animals and humans? Okay, the big difference. Um, I think the human things, rational things, and mm -hmm. the animal. The animals don't. don't because the animals have a the. So say instinct, 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 instinct. Mm -hmm. animal instinct. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anybody else? Carlos, in your opinion, other differences, Carlos, between humans and, and animals? Mm, the only difference is the humans are more intelligent than animals. Intelligent in quotation marks, right? <laughs> because we're destroying the earth, right? Okay. Or, 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 
O falto, ¿cómo se dice? Yo... Sorry. O, o, fal, o, o falto es, ¿no? Falto, sorry. I don't no, copy. No, no, no escucho o, bien. O, o falto. O falto. Lo falto. Uh, no, 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 no le copio, no le copio, perdón. Less intelligent. Ah, less intelligent. Ok, I understand, yes. The animals are less intelligent. Yes, you're right. Ok. O falto. Ah, falto de. Ah, I understand. Ok, no tiene inteligencia. Ah, falto de. I understand, yes. So animals are not intelligent. That's it, right? But listen. The problem is that we humans are intelligent, but we are destructive, right? That's the problem we have, right? And animals are not destructive, eh? Okay, let's go quickly to the next question, right? Uh, let me see. Mariano, help me again. Uh, if animals could speak, what do you think? Think, it says, it's a hint, but it think. They would say to humans. Animal could speak. Hink. What is ah, it's, it's not it's not ink. I will correct. Give me a second. Vamos a corregirlo aquí. Vamos a corregirlo. Give me a second. Aquí no equivocamos. Sorry. Think. Aquí le faltaba la T. Think. Okay. Now. Good. What do you think? They will say to humans, Mariano. Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> the, <laughs> depends the animal say. Imagine your dog. The, Mariano, the your dog. dog is, uh, I love you. Mariano, give <laughs> me more food. <laughs> yes, no, I, lo I love you. Ah, okay. Nice. <laughs> I love you, Mariano. That's okay. Uh -huh. That could be, I understand. Or maybe they and could the say... Of, of, and the rats of luck saying, no more. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> That's okay, right? Good. Ever, another question for you, Ever. What animal are you most fascinated by? What is the most fascinated animal for you, Ever? The lion. The lion, okay. For me, the lion is the most fascinating, yes? I agree with you, Ever. It's a fascinating animal, right? Nice. Vicky. Yes. Thank you, Ever. Vicky, are you ready? Hi, Vicky. Okay. The last luego, question. teacher. Hi. Luego, luego. <laughs> okay. Listen, Vicky, I have the last question for you. What is your favorite animal character, personaje? Animal character. I will give you one example. Bugs Bunny. Bugs Bunny is an animal character, right? Personaje que es animal, right? So for you, Vicky, what is your favorite? My favorite animal um, is a horse. A horse, but in this case, I'm asking Vicky, character, personaje de película, de, de cartoon, you know. For example, uh, we have El Pato Lucas, right? Bugs Bunny, Scooby Dooby Doo, Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? <laughs> so, what is your favorite, Vicky? Tom. Yeah. Uh, the cat Tom. Ah, cat Tom. I know the guy. Yes. <laughs> okay. Very good. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you, Vicky. Okay. That's it right now. Let's go to the class. But before to go to the class, attendance again, right? Attendance. Uh, Trini. Present. Okay. Thank you. Sorry, Trini, perdón que no le di comentarios, Trini, pero no sé, no la, no la ubicaba en la cámara. Ok, pero ya va, ya va a participar, no me preocupes. Ok. Aminda. No problem. Ok. Present. Good. 
Eh, Carlos. Present. Good. Claudia Guadalupe. Ahí me mando el mensaje. Ahí estamos. Gracias. Thank you very much. Domingo. Present. Good. Thank you. Ever. Present. José Roberto. Pues no se conectó José Roberto. Eh, Carla Benazir, me manda el mensaje, Carla. Ok, Leslie. Ok, thank you, Carla, thank you, eh, Claudia. En Leslie, please. Ok, now, Leticia. Leticia, Buenas, teacher. Okay, good, thank you. Tampoco le di comentario, ¿verdad, Leticia? Ya le vamos a dar comentario, no me preocupe. Mariano. Present. Good. Oscar Arnulfo. Rosemary. Present. Good. Rosibel. Present. Yvette. Present. Vanessa Noemí. Present teacher. Walter Omar. Present teacher. Good. Wendy. Tampoco se nos conectó Wendy. Vicky. Yeah. Present. Good. Miriam. Chamba. Present, mister. Debbie. <laughs> Debbie. Perdón, eh, presente, present. present. Good. Jorge Alfredo. Okay, very good. Now let's continue. Uh, Trini, please read the objective, Trini. Present, teacher. Oh, able, I will be again. able to. So give me a second. Alguien me dijo presente. ¿Quién? Que no lo había mencionado. Perdón, Trini. ¿Quién me dijo presente que no lo mencioné? Sorry, give me a second here, vamos a ver. Carla Vanessa y Carl, las dos Carlitas, ¿verdad? Permítame, permítame un segundo, Trini. Ok, Carla Vanessa, yes. Eh, Wendy, ¿quién más? Perdonen que... Ok, ahí estamos, ahí estamos ya. So, Trini, read, please. I will be able to identify reason for the decline of a product and sugar strategies, suggest strategies for a business to deal with decline of a product. Good. Remember, we have four stages, right? The introduction of the product, the growth, the maturity, and the decline, right? So in the decline, the product has some problems. So what are the solutions? To, to work with this, we're going to work with uh, quantifiers. So look, class, expression of quantity use with non-count nouns. Remember, non-count nouns are things that you cannot count. They are not separable. You cannot separate them. You cannot count them, right? And always they have a... Um, Singular form, right? It's not plural, but singular, right? For example, time. Time is not countable. Water, oil, okay? Conflict, hunger, uh, what else? Cream, tea, coffee, etc., etc. So all of these are non counts. So you can use these words a little time, a little water, too, right? a lot of time, some time, much time, a great deal of time, plenty of time, and no time. Also the words effort, look, esfuerzo, you know, luck, suerte, you know, and time, right? So in this case, effort, is for me and luck, it's no conto, right? So you can say a little luck. Some people say, ah, tengo poca suerte. So a little luck, yes. 
O, o you can say the opposite. I have plenty of luck. Tengo mucha suerte, you know, plenty of luck, right? Good. Then we have the, the nouns that are countable. So you can say a few hours, a lot of hours, some hours, many hours, plenty of hours, or no hours, right? Okay? So in this case, we're going to use these expressions with no count and this expression with count. Let's go to more specific example, right? Let's start one by one class. Some quantifiers can only be used with singular, only with singular. One house, one dog, one, one car, you know, each woman, each student, each person, each, each book, etc. etc. Every, every student. So the words one, each, and every are only for singular, right? Now, the second is with plural count now, right? Nombres que se pueden contar y son plurales. Plurales, sorry. A few, unas cuantas, right? A few apples, many workers, a couple of offices, un par de oficinas, right? When you say un par, it's, it's plural, right? Of course. Both, ambos, both factories, several products, muchos productos, several products, at least four, you know, a menos, a pair of shoes, a pair of socks, a pair of shorts, etc., etc. A number of customers, a majority of markets. So a few, many, a couple of, both, several, at least, a pair of, a number of, and a majority of are used to describe plural count nouns, okay? Now, some quantifiers can only be used with non-count, only with non-count, right? For example, a little. You cannot say, for example, a little apples. No, and incorrect. A little apples, no. Maybe a few apples, right? But no a little. So we have a little formality. Teacher, a little piece of apple. Sorry? A little piece of a little piece of apple. No, 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 no. Wait. If you describe only one, yes, right? Si usted está escribiendo una sola manzana, puede decir una manzanita. A little apple. Yes? Sí se puede. A little apple. Uh -huh. Pero no podemos decir a little apples. ¿Ok? No, peas. Un pedazo. Un pequeño pedazo de la manzana. Ah. A little peas. Un pequeño. Yes. Yes. That's correct. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, it's totally uh -huh. correct. A little piece of. Apple, yes, is acceptable. Okay, good. But I repeat, I cannot say a little mangoes, a little apples, a little, no, right? Only let you say a little piece. Oh, one apple. Te puede decir una manzanita, right? A little apple, right? Good. Less fun, you know, fun is not comfortable. Much time. Not as much formalities as a great deal of. And a great amount, una gran cantidad, right? Great amount of interest. A little, less, much, not as much, a great deal of, and a great amount. Those are used with non-count, exclusive. Again, one each, every exclusive for singular count now. A few, many, a couple of, both, several, at least, a pair of, a number of, and a majority of, exclusive, for plural, count nouns. And a little, less, much, not as much, a great deal of, a great amount of, exclusive, for non-count nouns. Right? Good. Any question, class? Remember, you have to memorize. You have to memorize 
which quantifiers are for singular, plural, and non-count, right? Memorize, please. Okay? Good. Any question? Continue, let's continue, so. Some quantifier can be used with both count and non-count nouns, okay? Algunos quantifiers podemos usarlos en ambos. Sean contables o no contables. We can use in both. For example, no. No hay ninguna persona. No people. Right? No choice. No hay opción. You know? Option. No choice. No, no water. You can say, no hay agua. No water, right? Bueno, en mi casa hay un montón de agua porque está lloviendo. No, 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 no oil, ¿no? you know. Some and many, or both. Some workers, any workers, some fashion, some coffee, any coffee, okay? A lot of or lots of. It's the same, right? Esta expresión es la misma, solo que se escribe de dos formas diferentes, pero significa mucho, bastante, un puño, decimos los salvadoreños, un montón. So, a lot of companies or lots of companies. Or you can say a lot of style, a lot of water, a lot of cream, or you can say lots of Lots of what? Eh, tea. Okay. A third of. Una tercera parte, right? The offices. A third of. The money, right? Plenty of. Muchos. O mucho. Most. All. You say all consumers. All students. And you can say all milk, toda la leche, right? Toda la leche, all milk. <laughs> more. More new products, more money. I wish, eh? <laughs> to have more money. More and more women, right? Oops, aquí hay otro error, se me olvidó la I. More and more conflict. Okay? So again, let's go back. These quantifiers are exclusive for singular count. These quantifiers are exclusive for plural count nouns. These are exclusive for non-count nouns. And these expressions can be used for both count nouns and non-count nouns. Good. Class, do you have any question? Questions, questions? No questions? Are you sure, class? Come on, guys, you can make questions. No problem, I like questions. No, okay. Good. Now, if no questions, I have a question for you, right? Okay. Now, let's start with Aminda. Aminda, number one, please. Most or much? I will, I will use the Most. drawing, right? Give me a second here. Regaleme un segundito aquí. Okay. Most. Most. Men and women work. Let me see. Correct. Yes. Uh, Carlos, please. Number two. A number of or a great deal of companies. A number of. A number of. of benefit. Good, totally correct, a number of. Thank you, Carlos. Uh, Domingo, please, Domingo. All worker or every worker? Domingo. All 
और वॉक करूं ओके लेट्स ट्रांसलेट मे बी डोमिंगो टोवोस trabajador o cada trabajador domingo ah oh, no cada trabajador o okay, cada so worker all o every 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 correct everyone this is for carlos and for domingo too right thank you thank you very much so ever help me number four, please a more liberal dress code have resulted in less or fewer choices. A fewer choices. Fewer. Thank you. Carla Vanessa, please Carla. Number five, please. 75, 75 years, ago, years ago, there were a few stores. A few, right? A few stores. Number six. Uh, Leticia, please. A great number of very low cut blouses or a great deal. Of Leticia, okay, Mariano, please. I, I have a great number of very low cut gloves, but I never wear them to the office. Okie dokie, correct, right? A great number of, well, give, give me a second here, right? Creo que se me olvidó aquí una. Give me a second. Here. Ah, oh, okay. Very good. Se me olvidó incluir la preposición. Here, right? Okay. Good. Thank you very much. Let's continue. Don't stop. Don't stop. Now, eh, Oscar. Oscar Anulfo. Creo que solo está de lista, ¿no? Carnuz. Ok. Rosemary. Yes. Ok, thank you. Rosemary, many clothing style or much clothing styles? Much clothing and style are classic and appropriate for any occasion. Ok, listen. Clothing many. styles. Ah, okay, many. Many, many clothing styles are classic and appropriate, appropriate for any occasion. Correct. Thank you, Rosemary. Rosibel, number eight, please. Uh, you send yours uh, a few makeup is always in good taste. It's okay, Rosibel, makeup, you know, maquillaje, it's countable or no countable? It's countable. Um, countable? Un countable. Or no countable, right? Un no countable. No countable. Mm -hmm. So it's a little or a few, Rosibel? It's a little. A little, correct. Uh -huh. Excellent also, Rosibel, thank you. Yvette, please, number nine. Much or most companies, Yvette? Most companies today permit workers to dress casually in the office. Most companies. 
right? Very good. And number 10, uh, Vanessa Noemi, please. Number 10. Every co worker okay. or several co workers? Mm, 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 mm. I combine them. Um, mm, several co workers to wear something elegant to the office? Correct. Excelentoso, right? Good. Let's continue. Don't stop. Don't stop. Circle the letters of all quantifiers that can complete each sentence correctly. So in this case, you can have one option, two options, three options, or four options. Let me see. It's A, B, C, or D. Right? It says all apply, todo lo que aplique. This is more difficult, eh? So, Walter, number one, if people go to formal events, which one applies? Walter, which ones? Uh... I'm not sure, maybe letter B, several. Letter B is correct, continue. There are more, I, I must tell you, yes, come on. For number two. No, for number one. I, I repeat, the exercise is which ones applies. ¿Cuáles de estas opciones aplican? No solo es una, puede ser dos, tres o las cuatro. Uh -huh. So we can say, if people go to several formal events, correct, right? Good. But there are two more. Le voy a ayudar, Walter. There are two more, hay dos más. A number of. A number of. One more. Uh, necesito que me la llamada. Ah, ok. Eh, Debbie, Debbie, please. <laughs> no puedo ir ahí, Debbie. Solo <laughs> una falta, Debbie. El público, ayúdenme, le Rosibel, ayúdenme. <laughs> A great deal of. A great deal. ¿Y Rosibel qué dice? Le está llamando un familiar. <laughs> <laughs> Rosibel. Uh, A Mox. Amos. 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 Bueno. Eh, Alguien dijo a great deal y dos dijeron mos. Entonces la mayoría gana, ¿verdad? Mos. Yes. Correcto. Ahí está el comodín. <laughs> ok, so you can say most formal events, several formal events, and a number of formal events, right? But a great deal, no. Great deal is only for non count, right? Good. So, uh, Vicky, number two, Vicky. Vamos a ver, teacher. Vamos a ver. Eh, Vicky, puede coger un comentario. Ya me gustó el huevo, ya. Yeah. Ajá, Vicky. Con el micrófono apagado, perdón. Ok, good. Every children don't think much about what clothes letter C. to wear. Ok, you say yes. letter C, right? Good. What else? ¿Cuál más? I green deal of. Por ahí me le están ayudando el público, Vicky. Most, acepta agree. o no acepta la ayuda, Vicky? Um, Agreed the earth. Agreed the earth. Great deal of. Agreed the earth. Una okay. gran cantidad de niños. Don. Okay, but remember, Spanish okay. is not... Thank you, Domingo. Translation is not always good, right? No nos, no nos vayamos por la traducción, porque a veces la traducción es engañosa. 
Okay. Yes. <laughs> Good. So, sorry, Vicky, le falló su público. Le falló, le falló la llamada, Vicky. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Because no, a great deal, no, is incorrect. Every is incorrect because every is for singular, right? Singular. You can say cada, most, but you they're, they're, say cada niños, cada niños, no, 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 no. O un gran pedazo de niños, <laughs> a great deal of, no. But you can say, Vicky, most, yes or no, Vicky? Uh, yes. Yes, correct. Can you say a majority of, yes or no? Letter D? Yes. Yes, yeah, yeah. right? Good. These are the correct. Una gran mayoría de niños, o um, la mayoría de niños, you know, so most and a majority of. Children is plural. Remember, children is not singular. It's plural, right? Okay? Mm -hmm. And it's countable, right? Okay, let's continue. Number three. Uh, Chamba, please. Your opportunity, Chamba, to, to obtain a lot of money in this game. <laughs> Since the invitation doesn't specify the level of formality, it's clear that some person needs, each person needs, or every person or most person. Every person. Every person and... Each person. My goodness, Chamba. Correct, right? Creo que usted fue con Willy Maldonado alguna vez. <laughs> yes, congratulations. And Thank to you. finish, Debbie, number four, Debbie. There are factories. There are factors who can make anything. There are... Uh, a number of mm -hmm. what else uh, plenty of correct and what else mm, a few a few my goodness Congratulations. Yes, that's totally correct, right? Totally correct. And number five, uh, Trini, for you again, Trini, number five. Trini. Okay, so Aminda, please. Help me, Aminda. Okay, sería a lot of. A lot of. Um, some women. And some? Some women? Some women. Only that? And to read that. No, right? That's no. All. Yeah. Totally correct, Aminda. Because it's every, no, you can say, cada mujeres, cada mujeres. No, no, come on. Every. So every woman, women, sorry, because women is plural, right? No woman, women. And less, less also is just for con, and, and no conto, right? So that's correct. Any question, class, so far? Any question? I repeat, this is just memorize, right? Memorize, and we're going to make a little review. Le voy a enviar la presentación al grupo como siempre, al grupo de WhatsApp, but let's make a little review, right? One, each and every, just for singular, right? One, each and every for singular. A few, many, a couple of, both, several, at least, a pair of, a number of, a majority of, 
This is for plural countable or plural count, right? A little, less, much, not as much, a great deal of. Este es como un gran pedazo, una gran porción de, right? A great amount of. These are exclusive for non count now, right? And here we have the ones that can be used for both, for countable and non countable. So, no, some, any, a lot of, lots of, a fair of, plenty of, most, all, more, more and more, right? You just have to memorize what is the most appropriate. And sometimes I say the translation could be difficult, right? Algunas veces la traducción no nos ayuda. Okay. Yes. And also be careful with the tricky countable and not countable now, right? For example, um, rice. Rice is countable or not countable? No countable. No countable. And beans? Frijoles? No countable. No countable. Beans are countable. Yes. Beans are no. countable. Yes. Believe it or not. Why? But I don't know. Maybe <laughs> remember Jack in the in the in the beans, in the magic beans? There were three, right? Tres frijolitos. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, remember that? Jack y los frijolitos mágicos. So three. So they say they can count. I don't know, don't tell me. The sun in the beach, countable or not countable? No countable. No countable. Uncountable. No countable, right? The hair. Have a little right? Never get a poquito in Hair. Countable or not countable? Not countable. No countable. Countable. It's both. It's both. In general, it's not countable, but if you have some. You can count un pelito. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's both. It's both. Now, chicken, pio pio, countable or not countable? Countable. 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 It's both. When they're alive, when they're vivos, you know, pio pio, right? So you can count them. But when they are dead, right? Uh, for example, last time I, uh, I heard that. El domingo me estaba diciendo que le gusta comer mucho pollo muerto, you know. He says delicious. Debbie? No, no, Debbie. No le gusta el pollo no. muerto. No, no mucho. <laughs> All chicken is dead, right? Cuando el pollo ya está muerto, ya está ahí para comer, right? Aunque esté enterito, pero es no contable, right? Ok. But when you use a, a bones, it's contable. Yeah, well, when it's alive, Rosibel, when it's alive, cuando está vivo, like, like fish, for example, fish, cuando los peces andan no. vivos, you, you can count them, right? But when they are there, right? And, and the same question for you, Rosibel, excuse me, ¿le gusta el pescado muerto? <laughs> yes. Yes, right. <laughs> so, when it's dead, cuando está muerto ahí en la mesa, pues no conto, right? O sea, en general, como es se considera como una masa de comida, so dice no conto, right? Okay, talking about chicken, right? I have a joke for you, it's in Spanish, but listen, a chicken, invite another chicken to a restaurant, you know? Un pollito invitó a otro pollito a restaurante, right? Y le dice el pollito, pío, sí, pedí lo que querrá, yo te invito. Okay, let's continue. Después de este chiste malo, vamos a, al... Uh, the manual, right? Okay, let's go to the manual, class. Give me a second here. Teacher. Uh -huh, yes, any question? Uh, every is not todos. It's only no, cada. No, every is cada. Cada. Mm, yes, let's, let's go check. Todos. No, 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 no. <laughs> no se puede usar como todos. Se podría the usar, pero day? si usa, vaya, por ejemplo, le digo, hay una canción de Air Supply que dice Every Woman. Because you're every woman in the world to me. Entonces quiere decir que tú eres cada mujer, cada mujer. You know? 
pero cuando usted dice cada mujer, está diciendo a la misma vez que son todas las mujeres. ¿Sí? ¿Understand? So the idea is that eh, cada una, you know? Eh, and, and the idea is, si, si usted dice, bueno, hay tres billones de mujeres, por ejemplo, por, por decir algo, ¿no? Entonces, cada una de las mujeres, you know? Pero every se refiere a singular. O sea, yo puedo decir every women, o every cats, o every dogs. No, no puedo decir eso. Aunque me refiera a todo. Otro ejemplo es la, la expresión everybody. ¿Sí? Cuando digo everybody, estoy diciendo todos. Pero me refiero a cada cuerpo. Like, like I say here, for example. Every student in this class is going to complete the platform. Right? ¿no? Cada estudiante va a completar. Pero cuando digo cada estudiante, lo, lo digo a todos, pero lo voy pedaceando, you know? uno por uno. ¿Understand? So that's why you say every in your mind is plural, right? But grammatically is singular. Sé que está complicado entenderlo, pero porque es inglés. So we say each also, right? Each, también la palabra each tiene el mismo significado que every, ¿sí? Que es cada mujer, every woman, right? Or each woman, you know? Understand? No sé si yes, es, la yes, más yes. o. No, no, yo no, no. tenía que era todos, era, pero no, ya. Sí, sí, ya pero es que vaya, que la es palabra cada. todos es all. Ajá. Pero cuando usted dice, va, tiene cinco, cinco primos, por ejemplo, ¿verdad? Entonces usted dice, cada uno de mis primos, en, en español se entiende que es cada uno, ¿verdad? Pero al decir que es cada uno de ellos, está diciendo que son los cinco en total, ¿sí? ¿Ok? Los incluye a todos, aunque los mencione por uno por uno, every, every code, yes. uh -huh. ¿sí? Uh -huh. Más o menos por ahí. Yes. Yes. Ok, good. Now let's go to the menu. Ya casi no acaba la clase, nos vamos al manual. Let's go to the manual. Y aquí está lo, el polémico ejercicio, ¿verdad? La 4 y la 5, ahí lo vamos a investigar después de la clase. Yes. Debbie me va a ayudar, Debbie. Yes. Ok. Now, Teacher, yo, I did it. You did it. Who did it? Yes. Rosibel. No, no. Vanessa. ¿Quién, ¿Quién me está hablando? Perdón, que no lo veo en la cámara. Vanessa. Vanessa, Vanessa. Uh -huh. Ok, Vanessa. Help me. So let's go to I, the number four. ¿Cuál era el problema I, de la cuatro, Vanessa? I price many companies would rather operate as a premium option once the product is in the decline stage and the end point. Point, right? Le puso punto. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. And that's correct. Yes. Ok, in class, the... I'm sorry. Eh, the... Bueno, cuando Leslie vea este, el, el video, ahí le estamos recordando, Leslie, que está bien, ¿verdad? Solo te pone el punto al final. Yes, and number five, Vanessa. Many more companies would rather become the low young cost okay. provider of a product with a great caution about what prices point. Point, Peter, at the end, right? Mm -hmm. That's what I say. Eso es, lo que, eso es lo que está aquí. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. Mm -hmm. Permítame, Vanessa. Aquí lo compartí yo. No. But... Aquí está. Aquí está, ok. Le, en la última le falta el D. El D. Por eso, por eso salía mal. Ok. Ajá, ahora voy a mí, voy a mí. Perdón, antes que me crucifiquen. Mm -hmm. Number five, en la cinco. Yes. Many more companies mm -hmm. would rather become Many more the, companies would rather become D. D. The low cost. The low, uh -huh. ajá. Ah, ok, pero dice el libro eso. O yo me equivoco. Yes. 
El libro lo dice también, ah, pues yo me equivoqué. Ah, no, no, yo... no, no, ¿verdad que el libro no lo dice? Uh -huh. Yes, teacher. De... Sí lo dice. Yes. Bueno, en cualquier forma, aquí estamos corrigiendo, ¿verdad? Se equivocó el teacher o el libro, pues aquí está. The low cost provider. Ok, y en la yeah. cuatro, ¿cuál era el error en la cuatro? Así como no, luego no. Vanessa está aquí. Uh, no, it's ok. Yes. It's ok, right? Yeah. Ok, claro. The only point at the end. Solo hay que ponerle punto al final, ¿no? Va muy bien, entonces ahí, hoy sí hágame la captura. ¿no? <laughs> Finally, right? Voy a soñar con este ejercicio, class. <laughs> Wanna dream with that. Ok. That's it, right? Entonces dejamos ya este ejercicio y nos vamos al manual. Let's go to the manual. Ok. So let's start with the conversation. Listen, please. Sonia and Oscar are talking about green tortricas and its behavior in the market, su comportamiento del producto en el mercado, right? Its behavior in the market. Listen to your instructor, it's me, nice to meet you. Read the conversation. Then take turns practicing, practicing sorry, with a partner. Oscar said, did you hear the sales of the green tortricas have declined? I did, and I can't believe it. We worked many hours to introduce it to the market. Yes, I remember. You put a lot of effort in the design of the marketing strategy. And Sonia said, oh, I thought green tortricas would succeed with a little luck. I guess I was wrong. Good. Now class, repeat after me, but with the microphones off, please, microphones off. Repeat. Did you hear the sales of the green tortricas have declined? I did, and I can't believe it. We worked many hours to introduce it to the market. Worked. Introduce it. Yes, I remember. You put a lot of effort in the design of the marketing strategy. Effort. Design, strategy, strategy. I thought green tortricas would succeed with a little luck. Succeed, luck. I guess I was wrong. I guess I was wrong. Okay. Two volunteers, please. Two volunteers to practice the conversation. I need an Oscar and I need a Sonia. Okay, Chamba and Vanessa, Noemi. Ready? One, two, three. Did you hear the sales of the green tortillas have declined? I did, and I can't believe it. We worked many hours to introduce it to the market. Yes, I remember. You put a lot of effort in the design of marketing strategy. I thought Green Tortricas would succeed with a little luck. I guess I was wrong. Okie dokie. Two more volunteers and we'll finish with this conversation. Uh, Ever, thank you. I have an Oscar, I need a Sonia. Uh, okay, uh, Ever and, sorry. Veo varias manos, ah, Evit, sorry. Sonia y Ever, sorry. Ever, 
and Yvette. Okay, one, two, three. Did you hear the sales of the green tortricas have declined? I did, and I can't believe it. We worked many hours to introduce it to the market. To the market. Yes, I remember. You put a lot of effort in the design of the marketing strategy. I saw green tortricas would succeed with a little luck. I guess I was wrong. Okay, thank you very much. Carlos, Carlos quiere participar, so I want to help you, right? Who wants to help? I need a girl. Necesito una chica que le ayude a Carlos, please. Who wants to help? Trini, Vicky, Debbie, who wants to help? Okay, uh, Debbie, please. Thank you. Okay, one, two, three. Did you hear the sales of the green tortillas have declined? I did, and I can't believe, I can't believe it. We worked many hours to introduce it, it to a market. Yes, I remember. You put a lot of effort in the design of the marketing strategy. I thought green tortricas will suicide with a little luck. I guess I was wrong. Good, thank you very much. Succeed, right? Succeed. Means Succeed. tener éxito. Succeed. Mm -hmm. Succeed. Good. And this is, uh, uh, you, you pronounce it together, right? Introduce it. Introduce it. It's together, Introduce right? Introduce it. Very good. Thank you. Now, here I have two questions, right? Two questions. No, I have more questions. In what stage of its life cycle is Green Tortricas at the moment? And let me see, I'm gonna ask. Uh, Trini, please. What stage it's market introduction, growth, maturity, or decline? Trini? Eh, yo no sé por qué me desaparezco del video. Ok, let me see. Uh, I copy, Rosibel. Ya le copiamos el mensaje, Rosibel. Entiendo, no se preocupe, que hasta a mí me sacó del... Me sacó del... De la clase hace un ratito, ok. Yvette, please, ayúdeme a a Trini, porque creo que no se puede conectar, Trini. Yvette, what stage? In decline. Decline? Mm -hmm. Decline, right? Let me see. Yes. Okay. Decline stage, totally correct. And number two, in what stage of the green tortricas life cycle did Sonia, no Sonia, but this other Sonia, right? Invest a lot of effort. Uh, who's going to help me? Aminda, please. Aminda. Um, market introductions. Very good. I like that you manage the, the stage, right? Yes. That's yeah. good. <laughs> nice. Good. Okay. Now complete the statements and then compare with a partner. According to the conversation, right? Uh, Carlos, please. Number one, we worked. Mr. Membreño. Okay, so many. Oh yes, Carlos. Uh -huh. we, we many. Work. Oh yes, um, many. Right. Thank you. Lástima que no puedo escribir aquí, pero many hours. We worked many hours. Yes. Good. Number two. Uh, let me see. Domingo, please. Domingo, you put. Uh, you put a lot of. Effort. Excellent. A lot of. A lot of. A lot of effort, right? Effort in this case is no countable, right? And remember, a lot of can be used for countable and no countable, right? And last one, number three. Uh, Ever, please. Number three, Ever. 
Number three is with the little luck. Little luck. Little luck. Yes, here, right? Little luck. Excellent tools, all right? And let's go to the last part. We have only eight minutes to finish, right? According to the manual, remember, these expressions are used with non-count nouns. A little, a lot of, or you can say lots of, some, much, a great deal of, plenty of, and no. And these are used with count nouns. A few, a lot of, some, many, plenty of, and no, right? Good. Now we have six sentences. Aquí no vamos a terminar la clase ya, right? Six sentences. But I will pass the attendance. Voy a pasar la asistencia. Hacemos las oraciones. Y este día me voy a quedar con eh, Aminda. Can you stay with me after the class? For 10 minutes? Yes, of course. Yes. Okay, thank you, Aminda. Thank you very much. Good. So, uh, let's go to the attendance, right? Uh, Trini, si le está fallando, por favor, me manda un mensaje. Si le está fallando el internet. So, Aminda. Aminda. Uh, uh, present. present. Sorry. Present. Okay, good. Thank you. Carlos. Present. Okay. Claudia Guadalupe. Domingo. Present. Good. Thank you. Claudia, ahí está presente. Okay. Give me a second, Domingo. Uh, Ever. Present teacher. Good. Eh, Carla Benazir. Carla Vanessa. Present. Good. Leslie. Carla Benazir, ya le tomé la asistencia. Leslie. Si me puede mandar el mensaje, Leslie, si me está escuchando. You're welcome, Carla. Okay, well. Eh, Leticia. Leticia. Mariano. Mariano. Good. Thank you. Oscar. Good. Oscar Anulfo. Rosemary. Present. Okay, good. Rosibel. Good. Yvette. Present. Vanessa. Present. Noemi. Okay, good. Thank you. Yvette. Vanessa, Noemi. Good. Good. Thank you. Walter. Present teacher. Good. Thank you. Eh, Wendy nos tuvo, ¿verdad? Vicky, Vicky, Vicky de Nora. Present teacher. Good, thank you. Chamba. Present, mister. Thank you, Debbie. Present. Good, thank you. Now, vamos a ver si alguien más se reportó en el chat. No, ya nadie más. Bueno, ok, let's go to number one, right? There is a mis... Eh, Three mistakes here, right? Related to the use of quantifiers. And some of the sentences are correct. Let me explain this, right? From six sentences, three sentences are good, correct. And three sentences are uh, incorrect, right? Understand? Again, three sentences good, three sentences bad, right? So you have to find the mistake good and now i will ask for volunteers number one dana projected the new product will not attract much customers volunteers please correct or incorrect incorrect walter thank you incorrect what is incorrect. the mistake walter what is the mistake 
customers is incountable. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. Customers is countable, right? One customer, mm -hmm. two customer, three customer. Okay. Yes, yes. Sorry, yes. it's countable. Okay. But much uh -huh. is for incountable. So what is the correct one, Walter? Uh, I confirm. Money. Many. Many, many customers, many, right? Many customers. Number one is incorrect. The correct one is many, many customers. Number two, volunteers number two. Sorry. Number two. I think it's correct. Who say that? Give me your name, please. Va a disculpar que todavía no, no me puedo lo, lo, las voces y a veces no me parecen ahí. Eh, please. Your name? Rosemary. Rosemary. Thank you, Rosemary. So for you, number two is correct, Rosemary. Yes, because it's some of the component. It's totally correct, my goodness. Number one for Walter, number two for Rosemary. Number three, volunteers. Raise your hand, póngame la manita o dígame su nombre para que los identifique, okay? Come on. Number three. Okay, good. Eh, tengo dos manitas aquí. Uh, vamos a ver. Jorge Alfredo. Welcome, Jorge Alfredo. Permítame que le voy a poner la asistencia. Aunque sea unos minutitos, ¿verdad? Jorge. Eh, ahorita estamos corriendo estas oraciones, Jorge. ¿Me escuchas? Yes. Ahora, dígame si está correcto o incorrecta la oración. Vamos a ver. Yo sé que casi no, no, no pudo ver lo de la presentación, pero vamos a ver si, si me echa una mano con esta oración. ¿Correct o incorrect? ¿Qué dice? ¿Qué dice? Puede usar un comodín, Jorge. <ríe> Me copia. Ah, le vamos a dar beneficio de la duda porque ya de último se conectó. Vamos a ver. I need another, another student, please. Eh, y me hace con, permítame que quiero ver en mi cámara. Uh, sorry. Perdón. Vanessa. Ok, Vanessa, please. Number three, Vanessa. Correct or incorrect? For me, it's correct. It's correct. Let me see. Mm -hmm. uh, before sales decline, it is essential that we implement a great deal. Great deal. Mm, wait a minute. Great deal. I'm not sure. Anybody else? A second opinion, please. Several, several modifications. Several. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. So it's great deal is not correct. Entonces, great deal no está correcto. No, okay. right? Because mm -hmm. modification is countable. So you can say one modification, two modifications. Uh, Jorge, vamos a ver, Jorge. Do you agree? Está de acuerdo, Jorge. Creo que le falla el micrófono. Jorge Alfredo. Sí, sería a, a lot of. A lot of. Very good. A lot of modifications. Good. Or you can say lots of modification, or you can say plenty of modification, right? Good. Thank you. Thank you for your participation, everybody. Now let's go to number four. We find two mistakes. Ya encontramos dos errores, right? So, uh, number one, mistake. Number three, mistake. Now, number four, volunteers, yeah. please. Por ahí estamos viendo a la princesita de Debbie. 
Very good, Debbie. Congratulations. Felicidades a todos los papás que están en clase y cuidando a los bebés. Thank you. Rosibel, right? Thank you. Okay, Rosibel, number four. Correct or incorrect, Rosibel? Um, for me, it's plenty correct. For me, it's correct too, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Jorge Alfredo, hoy sí. ¿Cómo está ese micrófono, Jorge Alfredo? Okay, no, no le escuchamos. Por ahí creo que está haciendo algunos contacto ahí, Jorge, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver si al final nos no podemos escuchar. Ok, so, number four is correct. Number five, number five, please. Volunteers, number five. Incorrect. Incorrect. Your name, please. Vanessa. Vanessa, thank you, Vanessa. Perdonen que no les eh, mm. describa, perdón, no, no, no. Eh, reconozca la voz, perdón. Ok, Vanessa, thank you. Could so be it's... many competitors. Com uh, many competitors, correct. A little, no. And it's many competitors. You can also say a few. A few, right? A few competitors or many or plenty of competitors, right? Thank you. So, number six. Easy, right? Number six is correct. Good class. Thank you very much. And this is for the class tomorrow. El ejercicio siete para la clase de mañana. Right? Eh, Jorge, tal vez nos puede arreglar el micrófono para mañana porque no le copiamos. Lo siento. Ahí le estaba queriendo participar, ¿verdad? Eh, quiero dedicar esta clase para todos los Chicos que nos ven, ¿verdad? Chicas y chicos. Eh, por ahí ya me aprendí algunos nombres, ¿verdad? Por, por ejemplo, Chambita Junior, ¿verdad? Y por ahí lo vamos a ir conociendo. ¿Alguien me dijo Diego? No. ¿Dieguito? No, no, no hay ningún Dieguito, ¿verdad? Después vamos a irlos conociendo, ¿ok? Good. So, thank you very much, class. Have a good night. Solo me quedo con Aminda. Bye, teacher. Bye, everybody. Good night. Bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Yeah. Adios. Bye. 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 <laughs> bye. <laughs> okay. Beautiful princess, Debbie. Thank you. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. Okay, Aminda. Hello. We have 10 minutes. You know, okay. Personal class, right? <laughs> okay, perfect. Okay, how how are you, Minda? Fine, a little fine. a little tired, but but I fine. I imagine, yes. Yeah. Then congratulations because after you work, you have this class, so it's it's a big effort, right? So congratulations. Yes, because uh, in the in the in the date, I I work in 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 Taka in the airline. But after that, I I work in the Don Bosco in, in Don Bosco University. In, in Soyapango. Yes, but uh, I give the the class in the in be in in the online online class. Online. Ah, okay, good. So you go home, you give your class, and after teaching, you. Come to the English class. Oh my goodness. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> okay. do you, sorry for the question, but do you have babies? Yes, I have two, two children, but uh, it's very, they are big. Uh, they, they, are big. Uh, they, they are big. They are grown. They are big. They are grown up. Grown up. Grown up. Grown up. Yes, adultos. Yeah. Oh yeah. my goodness. But imagine you're a mother, you're a teacher, you're a student, you work for <laughs> TACA. My God. Congratulations, Aminda. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's, it's complicated. So uh, do you want that I explain something in the class, Aminda, something that is difficult for you? 
so maybe to I I, I was no participate in the class uh, for yesterday. And I I know I on I know understand the when you use the the wool okay. Yes. No problem. We're going to go to to. I will show you the presentation of yesterday, right? But just give me a second, okay. and we'll look for the for the file. And here. I'm opening, 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 opening. Okay, would rather here I have it. Give me a second, Aminda. Okay. And sharing. This is the one. Okay, good. And Here, right? Okay, Aminda. So okay. would rather, well, let me explain first uh, that you have to use when you want something, when you like something, when you need something, you, you use the verb, right? Subject, verb, complement. You say, I like, I like chicken, for example, right? I I want, I want pupusas, I need food. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. So we have subject, verb, and complement, right? Right. Then, when you say that you like something, you just simply say "I like," and that is not polite, right? But when you use "would," "would" is the past tense of "want." We have "want" in the present, "will" in the future, and "would" in the past. Would. 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 One and will is the same verb. El mismo verbo. Ah, okay. Same verb, you know? Will, want, and would. Mm. So when, when you use would, mm -hmm. quiero, querré, and quisiera, you know, would. When you use would plus like, it's a polite way to express that you like something, right? So the difference between like and would like is that would like is more polite, es más amable. Okay. Ah, okay. Good like is more, it's soft. It's a soft expression. And then you use would like plus infinity. What is infinity? When you use the preposition to, right? For example, you say, I would like to eat pupusas. I would like to go to Chalatena. I would like to sell the product. So you, you use the preposition to, I mean that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. So number one, only I like. Okay. It's not polite. Number two, I would like, and this is polite. Let's see how amable, right? But mm -hmm. when you want to express preference, you have to use would rather. Okay. Mm. So, el uno es me gusta, simplemente. El dos es me gusta, pero lo digo amable, right? Y el tres sí. es Cuando hay más de una opción. Okay. Ah, okay. Cuando hay choice, preference, understand? Preference. Uh, sí. yeah. You use good rather. But I would rather. Good rather plus a base form. So no infinity. No. The base form. So you say, this is the contraction. You would rather buy. No. You would rather to buy. No, no, no. Mm -mm. Is mm. the base form. In would like, in would like, we use infinity, but in would rather, we use the base form. That's the difference, right? And also, you have two options, right? Aquí tenemos solo una opción, y aquí tenemos dos o más opciones, right? Sometimes it's not there. Algunas veces la opción no está ahí, pero está implícita, right? For example, here when I say, I would rather buy a better product. Uh, me imagino que está hablando de más de un producto, right? Sí. O sometimes it's specific. Mm -hmm. For example, Guatepeque o Ilopango, two options, right? Hamburger or pizza, yeah. two options, right? Okay? What would Good. you rather eat? Mm. Then, when you answer yes, no questions with would, this is the correct answer, Aminda. 
Would you rather see a movie? In this case, there are more activities uh, implicit, right? Hay más actividades implícitas aquí. Eh, ir a cenar, okay. ir a quedarse en la casa o ir a ver una película, okay? So what would you rather see? Sí. Sí. Okay. Yes, I would. Okay, and then, yes, I would. So mm -hmm. you cannot say, yes, I would yes, rather. <laughs> yes, I would. No, no, right? Incorrect. Mm -hmm. And when it's negative, I mean, that you say, no, I would rather mm. not. Yeah. Imagine it's complicated, right? No, yeah. I would rather not. I'd rather not. And affirmative, yes, I would. Okay? Okay. Good. And we made many exercises. Hicimos varios ejercicios. Esta es la forma negativa, right? I would rather not play. No quisiera jugar esta noche fútbol, right? No quisiera lanzar el producto. Hicimos varios ejercicios aquí, ¿verdad? Así que eh, la presentación está en el, en el WhatsApp. En el chat, en WhatsApp. En, en el WhatsApp, sí. Así que ahí puede bajarla y puede practicar, no. amigo, para... Sí, la voy a revisar. Please. La voy a revisar. Uh -huh. Please. Okay. okay. Something else, Aminda? No, that's no, it. No. Okay. So before we finish, I will give you my recommendations, the teacher's uh, recommendations. Okay, please, perfect. Please. I need you watch a movie every week, but English, ah, okay. right? Right. And Put the subtitles, the subtitles in English, no in Spanish, please. No in Spanish, in English. Okay. Do you have Netflix? I mean, yes, I okay. have. My goodness, the best, right? So <laughs> you put the subtitles of the movies. Huh? No action movie because they say so many uh, profane words. <laughs> yeah. So I recommend cartoons, romantic movies, etc., etc., right? A comedies. Okay. Uh -huh. Good. Perfect. Number two. Mm -hmm. Please go in YouTube and sing a song with lyrics. Con la letra de la canción, you know? Ah, okay, okay. Yes? Mm -hmm. yes. Last Thursday, I sent a song. El, el jueves pasado les mandé una canción. Jueves, I, yes. Yes, mm -hmm. last Thursday. So... This is, is one example, right? This is una forma de cómo usted puede practicar. Le pone la letra a la canción and then you sing, right? And do you like okay. old songs, Aminda? ¿Le gustan las canciones viejitas? Yes. Okay, yes. please. It's a good option. Okay, option three. Mm -hmm. Also in YouTube, you have audio books. Audio books. So if you like to read, you can go to YouTube and they put the lyrics, le ponen la letra del, del libro, right? And they are reading. Y ellos van leyendo por yeah, esto. Okay. Yes? Those are kind of long, right? Yo sé que usted pasa muy ocupada y son audios muy largos, a veces como dos horas. Pero tal vez en un mes, ¿no? Puede ir poquito a poquito practicando. These are three options. Okay, Believe me, Aminda, I learn English by music and movies. <laughs> Yes, yes. Okay. It's a personal experience. So that's why I recommend that. Okay. 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 Perfect. I, I, I try to do it. Okay. Very good. Any extra okay. question, Aminda? No, no, for me. Okay. So thank you very much. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Right? Yeah. See you tomorrow. Have a nice you, night. You too. Yeah. Okay. Have a nice na uh, night. <laughs> Yes. And night. Uh -huh. okay. okay. Goodbye. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. See you tomorrow.